Banana peels can be amazing for your garden. From encouraging larger flowers to bloom, to preventing harmful diseases from killing your plants, there's a whole host of reasons not to throw your banana peels in the bin. Check this list to find out how to best dispose of a banana peel to get amazing results in your garden. Fertilize your plants with banana peel tea. Giving your plants a mineral boost never does them any harm. This banana peel tea takes the nutrients found in the banana peel and passes them on to your plants, giving you a strong and healthy garden. And it couldn't be any simpler to make. Just fill a large mason jar with water, then place the banana peel inside. Allow the water to sit for at least 48 hours so it can absorb all of the nutrients. Once the mixture is ready, just discard the peel but leave the water in the jar. Then water your plants as normal with your banana peel tea. On a side note, while a lot of nutrients will have been removed from the peel over the 48 hours, it's still worth throwing the peel on your compost heap rather than in the bin. Add the peels directly to your soil. If you add banana peels directly to your soil by burying them, it will become enriched with potassium, magnesium, and calcium, which can all be absorbed by your plants. As the banana peels break down, all of the nutrients will steadily be released into the soil. The overall health of your plants will be greatly improved, as all the nutrients released by the banana peel allow them to grow stronger, photosynthesize easier, and establish strong roots. You can also chop up the peels to get a head start on the composting process and to allow the nutrients to be released quickly. Whole peels will work fine too though. It's also best to bury the peels before planting, as then you won't disturb the roots. Throw peels on your compost heap. Throwing banana peels on your compost heap may not benefit your garden instantly, but it will still have an effect over time. This is a great hack if you've used peels in the banana tea fertilizer and you don't want to put the peels in the bin. Adding banana peel to your compost heap might be a great solution. Over time, the banana peels will decompose and become a nutrient-rich compost that's perfect for use in your garden. When you're preparing your flower or fruit and vegetable beds for planting, make sure to add some of your compost around the plants to help them develop. The extra nutrients from the bananas will really give your plants a boost. Dry the peels and grind them up for fertilizer. If you don't have many banana peels to use but still want a really effective way to get the nutrients from them, then this hack works really well. You're going to need to dry the peels first, so place them on a cooking tray. Make sure they're far enough from each other so they're not overlapping. Set the oven to 140 degrees and leave the door open an inch or two. Cook until they're thoroughly dried out. Once the peels are dried and cooled, grind them up in a coffee grinder. The fertilizer can be added to the soil as long as you avoid the roots of your plants, or you can sprinkle it around the sides of your plant to allow them to absorb as many nutrients they need over time. Help out seeds with the whole peel. Adding the whole peel to your garden is great for seeds and will ensure healthy plants as the seeds begin to germinate. Create a hole in your soil around two inches deep and place the banana peel in the hole, making sure that it's laying flat. Add your seeds on top of the peel, then fill in the hole. As the seeds start to germinate and form roots, the banana peel will break down and decompose, leaving behind a fantastic fertilizer that gives your seeds the best start. You'll be left with strong and healthy plants that should produce more flowers or fruit and vegetables. Create a nutrient-rich spray. If you want an even more effective fertilizer than the banana peel tea, and you've got some eggshells to hand, then you can create a nutrient-rich spray for your plants. This spray works well on plants that are already established and gives them a boost to continue with healthy growth. As this is a spray, you don't actually need loads of banana peels for this to work, so you can target quite a few plants in one go. Dry out the banana peels using the same method from the ground up fertilizer, then you're going to need to grind them again. But this time, add in eggshells. Add the peel and shell mixture to a spray bottle with some Epsom salt, and then fill the bottle to the top with water. You can then spray your plants as and when needed. Repel insects with a non-toxic solution. Using chemicals in your garden to repel insects is not only bad for the environment, but it can be toxic for pets. As much as you might try to keep cats and dogs away from your plants, curiosity sometimes gets the better of them. Insect repellent spray or pellets can be fatal for cats and dogs. For a natural, non-toxic insect repellent, all you need are some banana peel and apple cider vinegar. Add chopped up banana peels to apple cider vinegar in a small plastic container, put the lid on, and give it a shake. 
Drill some holes near the top of the container that are big enough for flies to get through, and then place the container near your plants. While it won't stop all bugs, neither do chemical repellents. And since this mixture won't use harmful chemicals, it will keep pets safe while being better for the environment. Keep aphids away from your plants. Aphids can be a nightmare for gardeners because they will destroy your plants before you have got the chance to admire all of your hard work. Luckily, it turns out that aphids don't like banana peels. For this hack, you will need to chop the banana peels first. Place the chopped peels just under the soil line and watch as your plants remain aphid free. This has an added benefit too, as not only will your plants thrive due to the lack of aphids, but as the chopped banana decomposes, it will be absorbed into the soil, creating a nutrient-rich compost for your plants to grow in. Again, this is a great chemical-free way to repel aphids and benefit your plants. Ferment, peels for beautiful roses. If you've planted a rose bush in your garden, you'll want to be rewarded with big, beautiful blooms. Well, this hack almost guarantees that this will happen. While fermented banana peels are especially good for roses, any flowering plants will benefit from this, and you should soon see much larger and healthier flowers on your plants than you would without using banana peels. To ferment banana peels, place them in a mason jar and fill it with water. The peels have to stay submerged, so you may need to place something heavy on top of them to keep them under the water. Place the top loosely on the mason jar and leave the mixture for a week. The key to this is good bacteria, so if the mixture is going cloudy, that's fine, but if you notice black mold forming, then you'll need to throw it away and start again. After a week, put the peels in a blender, then add the puree around your flowering plants and gently incorporate it into the soil. The water from fermenting can be used to water your plants too. Up the acidity in your soil. Some plants thrive in acidic rich soil, so creating banana peel vinegar will give them the acidity they need while providing them with an added nutrient boost from the banana peels. This hack has the added benefit of being able to use the water from the fermented banana peel hack. Follow the steps for fermenting banana peels. Then once you've removed the peels, you need to leave the water covered up for around four, six weeks. This will allow the water to turn into vinegar. You'll know when it's ready, as it will have that vinegar scent. If the smell seems especially strong, you'll need to dilute the mixture with a bit of water, as too much acid can harm your plants. Water your acid-loving plants with the banana peel vinegar and watch them thrive. Boost moisture levels in your garden. Using banana peels in your garden can also help boost the moisture levels in your soil. As well as releasing many helpful nutrients into the soil, the added moisture levels that come from burying banana peels in the soil will also help plants thrive. As banana peels decompose, they create a mesh-like texture that prevents evaporation in the soil. Not only will your plants have the extra moisture they need to grow healthy and strong, but it'll also save you time and money as you won't need to water your plants as often. Placing banana peels just below the surface of the soil, if you already have plants in your garden, will help the moisture levels. But you can also bury peels a little further down in the soil if you haven't yet planted anything. It will cut down on water usage and provide far more benefits than plain water. Attract beneficial microorganisms. Having healthy soil in your garden is the key to growing healthy plants. Burying banana peels in your garden can help attract microorganisms such as good bacteria and fungi, which just happen to help create the best nutrient-rich environment for your plants. These microorganisms will naturally grow around decomposing banana peels and break down organic matter that helps to create the best soil for plants. Another added benefit of encouraging the growth of microorganisms is that they can prevent diseases from forming in plants. The good bacteria present in the soil will prevent diseases from affecting fruit and vegetable yield or from killing off your plants altogether. This hack will work best if you place your banana peels in the soil with your plants so bury them just below the soil line to get all the benefits of the decomposing banana peels. Not only will this encourage the growth of fungi and good bacteria, but you'll also be rewarded with extra nutrients and added moisture. Which of these banana peel hacks will you use in your garden? We'd love to hear your thoughts, so leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. We will see you in the next video.